Trontonians have a special reason to be peeved at Pixels, the latest eruption from Adam Sandler's Gas Factory. This comedy of invading space alien arcade gamers was filmed last summer on major downtown streets, adding to already considerable traffic jams. Hello, my sweet little boy. Look how big you've grown. It's so sweet, he's so sweet. You're a good boy. Ah! Somebody kill this to his They closed Adelaide Street for this? But everybody can get steamed about what a waste of a good idea this movie is, despite being directed by Christopher Columbus, who did the first two Harry Potter movies. Pixels is modeled after a short French film of the same title and theme, which exhibits more creativity in two brisk minutes than Sandler and his gang do in nearly two tedious hours. Their feature-length Pixels adds a Ghostbusters riff. Sandler teens with Josh Gad and Peter Dinklage as middle-aged versions of teens who in the early 1980s excelled at playing arcade games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Space Invaders. None of them have done much with their lives since then. But when a hostile intergalactic race misinterprets their old-school games as a real-time threat and starts attacking Earth with malevolent versions of these pixelated playthings, then who are you going to call? Kevin James is the U.S. president doing the calling. He just so happens to be the best buddy of Sandler's Sand Brenner from way back in those carefree arcade rocking days of 1982. That's just one of the many lame contrivances of Pixels, which also adds Michelle Monaghan as the obligatory Sandler love interest. The special effects are good. A car chase with a giant-sized Pac-Man is especially fun, but the script might as well have been penned by the same clueless aliens doing the invading. And Sandler is so listless, he's like another 1980s character, E.T. You know, the stranded space alien who just wanted to phone home. For the Star.com, I'm Peter Howell.